Ladies and gentlemen, you had to know this was coming. One little cup battle per update cycle. Come on, that's just not enough little cup. So here you have the premiere of my new little cup team. Uh, my opponent is That's My Latios, who I met through the now defunct Magnitude Zap, and he leads off with Torchic, and as I lead off with my Edgar Rice, Edgar Rice Burrows? Anyone? Okay, never mind. Anyway, I set up Stealth Rocks, and when he doesn't stay in, when he stays in and doesn't switch out, I'm like, uh, is this a speed boost set? And he's like, uh, yeah, why? And I'm like, speed boost isn't legal on Little Cup Torchic. He's like, oh. Uh oh, that's not a good thing. And he's, then he goes dot dot dot, and he's like, I guess, um, so I, I take him, so he was going to do a whole baton pass thing, but it's definitely, definitely not legal, and so he's just basically leaving it in to die, and so I do KO his Torchic, and that's really okay, um, and now he's like, I guess Moxie Bagon isn't legal yet either, and in fact, a week later it became legal because they released the Rugged Mountain area, but at this point, no, it was not legal, so... He goes ahead and Dragon Dances, I get him down to pretty low health, he's got the Orinberry. I don't know why people are running Orinberry still this generation, uh, I mean, if your Pokémon has more than 20 HP, uh, the Eviolite is the way to go. Anyway, now it's gonna come Scraggy, who is basically his recipient for all these things, and I'm gonna basically gonna lead Edgar Rice in to die, even though the Drain Punch was predictable, or, you know, a Dragon Dance or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Emily, gonna get off a uh, flying gem boosted acrobatics, and that thing is a dead scraggy. No questions asked. So now he's gonna send out Magnemite, and I've got the hidden power fighting. I'm like, I'm running a mild nature, I can probably take him out. So I go for it, and he survives with like 2 HP, and I'm like, crap! Oh well, T Bolt, Emily is going to die, and yeah, that's not a great start from my uh, Drifloon. Uh, I love it so much though. So I go ahead and send out Blake, my little baby Growlithe. He's gonna go ahead and Thunderbolt me and break my Air Balloon. Air Balloon is kind of a shitty item to have on this Growlithe. Maybe I'll swap it out for something else, but the idea is you know, I can switch it into a lot of things, either uh, fire type attacks or ground type attacks, but whatever. Um, Krogunk is out, I'm predicting the fake out, so I go ahead and send out IBM, my Ponyard, who I absolutely love. I don't know why I wasn't predicting the vacuum wave. It's so obvious, IBM is down, and I have lost my, uh, my Ponyard for nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Starbuck, uh, and here I go for a bad play. I really, this is a mixed scarf, whale and I go for the Zen Headbutt, and, uh, you know, I do carry the Earthquake. It's Ice Beam, Water Spout, obviously, uh, Earthquake and Zen Headbutt. Earthquake would have been the meta move there, but oh well. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into my Lilu. That is a uh, fifth element reference. Come on, look at the orange hair. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so gonna go ahead and just... I figure that I can actually probably outsell this thing. I am running the really annoying Eviolite Recover set. I am extremely, extremely hard to kill, even though he does have the Gyro Ball. I'm not really fearing too much because I'm a slow mother... And, uh, expletive deleted. Anyway, uh, I keep going for the Ancient Powers, hoping to get a stat raise, and I'm not getting it, but that's really okay. He's gonna go for the Gyro Ball here, and it is super effective, and it's gonna do a fair amount, but I can just recover off that damage, no problem. So, as long as he doesn't get a crit, I'm okay, and I did get a spec def drop against him, so even though both of my moves against him are resisted, yeah, there was a crit right there, so I'm really glad I keep going for the recover, uh, just to basically stay out of crit range. He's gonna keep on Gyro Balling me, and, you know, my recovers are gonna run out eventually, but I think I can probably do enough damage to him. I don't, it doesn't, it's not looking like he runs a recovery move, which is quite nice. So, Gyro Ball again, really not doing too much, going, uh, going for the recover again, stalling this guy out like nobody's business. He keeps on Gyro Balling me, and I go for the, another Ancient Power. I'm getting him down to where he's a pretty low health. One more hit is going to kill him. He's gonna go for another layer of spikes, so there's all these spikes up. And that's really not great, but it's, you know, not awful either. Uh, I take him out, and that is excellent. Down goes that Pharaoh Seed. Out's gonna come Krogunk. And I'm just gonna stay in at this point. Uh, I mean, I don't really have too, mu too many options. Uh, I get the, you know, I obviously get Flint. She's gonna go ahead and vacuum wave me here. This is his last Pokemon, by the way. So, I'm just figuring, okay, I get a free switch into, um, my wonderful, awesome, uh, Scarf Whalmer. Gonna go ahead and KO it in one move. I'm pretty sure I can survive one hit from this guy. I go ahead and send out Starbuck. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Zen Headbutt. As he sucker punches me, I survive. I'm like, that's cool. Zen Headbutt. It misses! 
Why didn't I go for Earthquake? Why didn't I go for Earthquake? Earthquake has higher base power anyway, 100% accuracy. I would have won this battle, and now I have to send out uh, Blake to die to the spikes, and that's the end of the battle. So I lose only to my own stupidity, but I like this battle because you get to see my entire team. This is really more of a fun team than anything else. So anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.